Ever since starting this company, I'd felt there was a piece missing. You can build the best software in the world, but without people to drive it, it's nothing. Ultimately, what's left after technology is people. And that's why we have our pipeline managers, real inside salespeople, working with our clients to drive success day in, day out, right in the Wigmate platform. My name is Jason Coburn. I'm Josh Attard. My name is Alex. My name is Alexi. My name is Eric. My name is Isaiah. This belt uh, is actually awarded to the person who gets the most hot leads. The privileges is two days to work from home. So as soon as I heard that, I've won it ever since. Um, I would say my mom, uh, definitely my hero. She does, she's done a lot for me you know, growing up. I would say I look up to maybe my grandfather and my grandmother, just because they kind of carried me up till now and I kind of owe them a lot. Gotta say, honestly, myself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I motivate myself the most. I look up to myself the most. You know, I could say my mom, my dad, you know, other people like that. My hero definitely is Batman. So day of life pipeline manager, you know, you come in, you organize your day for the, for the first hour or so, figure out, you know, you're calling reminders, you're calling the fresh new leads and then you're figuring out what you're doing for the last two hours of your day. By 9.15, I'm already going and, you know, executing. Go through each pipeline, see what needs help, drill the phones from 10 to basically 5.30. I try to batch my emails, so, you know, I'll go through them for the first 10, 15, so at some point, like around lunchtime and then at the end of the day. Just because, you know, the most important thing is really reaching out to people, really making those connections, so I'm not going to live in my email. Make sure everything looks good, kind of organize it. If I have any reminders from the day before, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. And then from there, you just start the day, just go at it. I'm waking up, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm screaming at myself and I'm amping myself up for a good 30 minutes, I would say. And then I'm just getting on those phones. The culture, yeah. very diverse, open-minded, very creative. For a family of Wingmate, culture's great. I love it. It's kind of just like working with all your friends, you know what I mean? Even though I didn't know everybody within a day or two, it's almost family oriented. We come in, we like hug each other almost, you know, so it's, it's good, it's good stuff. Everybody's upbeat, you know, everybody's personal. If you need help, nobody's afraid to ask. You can come to us, come to me, come to you. Building on relationships with the people around me, with the companies we're representing, growing their business while growing our business at the same time. It is, yeah, it's, it's just great to communicate with these people. They're all great people that we're working with, the companies we represent, and uh, looking that for them to succeed in the best way possible and enjoy every moment of it. How many calls do I make in a day? Somewhere between you know 60 and 100, something along the lines of that. Around maybe 50 to 60 calls per day? 50 to 80. 60 calls a day on a rough day. I think my record on time phone is like probably two hours and 30 minutes? Four hours. Two hours, 22 minutes. Three hours and 20 minutes. Three hours and 23 minutes. An hour and 45 minutes. I remember my first hot lead uh, because, you know, I was new to making calls and already it's, it's really nerve wracking. You know, you don't, you, you don't know who you're going to be speaking with. You don't know if the DM is going to pick up right away. And they were interested. The timing was right. I knew the products. I knew the product offering. First hot lead I closed was actually the first day I worked. The hot lead I closed. I was I was pretty I was pretty hyped up about it. Uh, I had a little bit of sales experience coming into this, but it was all new on the phone, so I had to get into that. Uh, thankfully, with what I had from before, I came in here and I kind of just came in with confidence, which was the key. I remember doing push-ups right after the hot lead because I was just juiced up and pumped up, you know. It was a rainy Tuesday afternoon. Got the call from Matt, hey pal, we just got one. And I was excited. Easy going conversation, it was just very easy going. Pretty much just pitched the idea, you know, we'll definitely save you guys the time and stuff like that. He just pretty much was just open to the idea, you know, I'm always open to the fresh ideas of working with new vendors and stuff. Easy going, got his email, provided him all the information. He said, yeah, send it over and we'll, uh, we'll get going with you guys. The craziest story on the phone. He was speaking in funny voices. 
you don't know what an ROI is. Like little things like that. It was hilarious. It was a good call. Then the person that I spoke with over the phone, it was, it was pretty clear that they just wanted to talk. So I was like, I'll entertain it, you know? And they started talking to me about government conspiracies and aliens and this, that, what all of this stuff means. And I just kind of went with it because I wanted to know where they were going to go. Um, and at some point I, I kind of had to end it said, you know, I, I got to go. Thanks for the chat. And, you know, the account ended up opening up. So I, I, I guess it worked. Right at the beginning of the pitch, he was just like, do you not see the sign in front of my door? And I'm like, sir, I'm on the phone with you. I can't see the front of your door. And he's like, well, go to the front of the door and you'll see a sign that says no solicitation. Uh, what makes someone a good salesperson? Uh, honestly, just being personable, making it casual, not being too salesy on the phone. You gotta have that energy, you gotta be confident with yourself and that's it. I think it's a few things. I think, you know, persistence is the most important thing because it, it is a volume game at the end of the day. I think it's just me separating my emotions uh, from the phone call, just me making it more you know, one-on-one, -on -one. it's my job, it's their job you know, to, to, to block me, but it's my job to you know, get over that. What motivates me to succeed every day? Honestly, my environment's motivating enough, the people I work with. Working at this company, I wanna say growth. You always set like goals and aspirations for yourself, and you wanna be able to actually see those, you know? Seeing my mom struggle to pay, you know, food and stuff like that, so I think that really motivates me to like, you know, give myself a better life and then my future family a better life. I think really it's just looking at who I was yesterday and, you know, maybe even yesterday is not far enough. Looking back to a year ago, two years ago, three years ago and, you know, seeing the huge difference and, and the progress that I've made and being like, if I made that difference in the last two years, what's going to happen in the next two? You know, so every day I get a little bit closer to where I want to be. At this point, it's my belief that we have one of the strongest inside sales teams in North America. And the best part is, we share that team with our clients. That's what the PM service is all about. A great software with even greater talent behind it.